Okay, so here we go. Getting ready to start out with the lightning on our trip. We're going to start at exactly 80% charge. Um, because from my understanding, the lightning will only fast charge at the accelerated rate up to 80%. So when we get to our charging station, um, partway through our trip, we want to be able to replenish back up to 80 what we've used on the first leg of the trip, which will then allow us to calculate the cost rather than waiting to go from, say, 70% when we get to the charging station all the way to 100 because it's going to slow down 80 to 100. So we're trying to, trying to not sit at the charging station any longer than we need to based off what the manufacturer has provided. So a quirk that I found that I, that I think is interesting. So we're going to go ahead and on, on this uh, setup, the truck basically routes you around the chargers. So we're going to tell it I've already entered the destination for the water park. And we're going to go ahead and there's our route. And we're going to go ahead and say, yep, that's it, and go. And it's going to calculate our route here and add a charging station, most likely. Okay, so there's the route. information. Say one charger, we're going to have to be on for 25 minutes. But something we've noticed that uh, I think is going to be interesting uh, through this trip, that charging station is in Hayes, Kansas. So we're going to come up to the interstate. It wants us to go to Salina, do our trip, come back to Hayes, charge, and then go home. There's a charging station in Salina. Electrify America is the charging station. So why it's routing us that far out of the way to charge is interesting. So we're going to let it do its thing and see what happens today. But we'll be charging in Salina regardless because there is a, a Electrify America station there. And uh, so these, these data points on here are going to be a little bit off. Um, there we go. So, yeah, that's going to be the interesting thing. So, yeah, 97 miles, 1 hour, 25 minutes, roughly, to charge when we don't need to go that far out of our way. So we'll just see what happens with that. All right, let's get this on. All right, so we had a little interesting revelation while going down the road. So on the charger location that I initially pointed out being back in Hayes, it wanted for this trip, it just flipped over and realized, hey, it's gonna be easier to charge in Salina now for your trip. So the software is smart. It's just the initial, the initial route that it gave was confusing and I'm not sure why the algorithm did that. Um, I do have the settings in there set to where it's for fastest route, so I'm not sure. It doesn't really give you a lot of access to dictating charge locations, but it did flip over, and that's we are now going to charge in Salina, and it is telling me, if I remember right here, that we will have roughly on that charger 20 minutes, and that's going to take us 36 to 64% will then get us home so we'll be able to tally the cost of our when we left to that charger which is half the trip and uh, we'll see how much that costs us when we pay for that charge all right so here we are with the first destination to the water park and this is what we've got um, this is also including a little tooling around town before we left so 108 miles two hours and ten minutes averaging 1.7 miles per kilowatt and as far as the truck goes looks like we've got 81 miles remaining on this charge we got a little over a quarter charge and we started out with 80 percent so um, the miles left are not indicative of how much we used per se there would have been more if we started out at hundred percent but we're not doing that because we want to charge it up and see how much it costs to pay so we're gonna go in and have some fun and then we'll do the fast charger and see what we got Right 
Okay, well, here we are, Electrify America, and we're doing the whole charging thing. So, boy, look at that. Yeah, we're already up 31%. And we're out of here. I guess uh, time to head home. Okay, as you can see here, we were able to achieve 12 cents per mile on this trip. And when I think about that, it's like that's not too bad in my mind because for what you're getting as far as the pickup itself, you know, we're driving a full size truck. We're fully loaded in some really hot ambient conditions. And then the performance side of it that you get as well with, with the electrics on this is just amazing. So taking that into account and then versus a gasoline counterpart, I felt that the uh, cost per mile was very reasonable. I think the two biggest takeaways for me on this were the range anxiety is not what I thought it was. It's easier to trust in the vehicle to get you where you need to go and when you need to charge and then the charging time itself. Um, super impressive on if you followed what the truck wanted, how you could be off that charger in little to no time at all, um, relatively speaking to what I thought it would be. So for me, that was the two biggest sticking points and I really enjoyed the trip, um, kind of checking this as my first time driving a, a full battery electric out of town.